Hey everybody, it's Sharon, and today I'm going to take you out to an antique store. I don't like shopping, but when I do, that's where I go. And I always gravitate towards the rusty gold. And the reason I'm looking there is for our cabin rental that we're building, one of the bedrooms I want to make into kind of like a log cabin theme. And we're going to use uh, logs from the old smokehouse that we took apart. They have some beautiful chestnut and oak um, logs. So that'll be a headboard. And I was looking for something um, to use for decoration in there. And I found this at the store. It's from about 1940s. Uh, it had all the parts to it. Very rusty, but that's the way I like it. It even had some antique bugs. So I first started by just checking out what worked and what didn't. It looked like the top came apart. And then I had a hard time getting that glass to come. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, there's a mud dauber nest in there too. But anyway, I started to go ahead and just use uh, steel wool and get some of that loose rust off. Now you can see the mud dauber nest up in there. And that's where they ended up. So I started cleaning the glass on the outside and then I remembered that I think it's supposed to flip open. So I lifted up the top and um, started to loosen it and it would not go. Um, it was definitely froze up in the back there, a little bit rusted where that hinge is. Um, I should have just got some WD-40 or some spray, but I didn't. My plan was to put this light and wire it into that lantern so it would be on. I thought, all right, let me see if this handle is going to work or not. And I wanted to be careful because it felt loose like it was going to break. And yeah, it broke. So plan B, since I couldn't get in there to wire it, I had some of these fairy string lights and I had a remote control. So I thought well, that would be perfect. So I use a uh, wipe on poly and I use a satin and just put one coat on um, the rusty metal. I use it on barn door hinges and some other things and it gives it a beautiful color, deep um, dark brown color and it, you know, it seals in any of the uh, loose rust that might be out there. So I just cleaned up a little bit with goof off what I got on the light and you can see it went from um, pretty rusty to really deep dark brown and that stays that color then. So next was the fun part and that was just feeding in all those fairy lights. Now you can get different size um, lengths as far as the number of lights. I think that was about 35 lights. It probably could have used less but that's what I had. So that's what I wanted to use. Uh, and that one has a USB connector and it just plugs right in. So I had to be really careful. I didn't want to smash any of the lights when it went down. And you can see towards the back, um, it comes off on a wire and then it has, you know, the rest of the cord for the USB cord. So I thought, I don't want it to be too visible. So I'm just going to line it up with that. So before I did that, though, I kind of did some test pictures and looked and I want the light to come through those vents and also through the top. So I thought, all right, perfect. So I just used some, uh, I had some Gorilla Glue contact adhesive and I was thinking it was going to be more like uh, super glue where it adhered like instantly, like where my fingers would be stuck to it, but it didn't. So I just put a little tape there until it um, dried, which was like about 20 minutes. So even though it didn't look end up looking exactly like I thought, because um, like I said, I thought I was going to use one of those flame lights, um, I actually like it better because without the camera, you can actually see the individual lights. And so it actually looks like fireflies in there and you can do the remote where it's, uh, you know, the flickering or um, just a timer, which I think is going to be great for our, our guests. And I think they're really going to enjoy the omniance. So thanks for watching and I'll be posting more of the furniture and other things that I'm going to be using for in the cabin.